All right, guys, we're going to make this quick. I just kind of woke up, so this is what I want to talk about. It's Funnel Method. It's finally here. This video is about Funnel Method. Uh, this is to prove all those people wrong that were like, more character doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't help you. Or all those people that are like, the reason you don't have one main at 1600 is because of A, B, and C. Nobody naturally grinding or progressing in the game without alts got their main character to 1600. Well, not even 1580. And if you want to challenge me, that's fine, but you better be prepared to show me your account. Straight up. And when I analyze it and I tell you you're a fucking liar, just remember that. Um, but yeah, the regard, nobody, and I mean this, not one human being in this entire fucking game without more than six alts, um, or at least six alts, I guess I should say, and funneling into one, got to 1600 or more. If they're playing literally one character on the roster, they're an Asmongold, and they're either spending money getting donations or they're getting it from the game developers. Like, it's just not happening. It's not happening any other way, right? Especially somebody like Asmongold. I think he's got like 2K playing hours. Like, it's just not enough to grind your way there. It's not. So uh, we pulled this up because I wanted to show something. So we're going to talk about Funnel Method because it does work. It is true. Um, I'm going to link the rest bonus video in here. And I know the math is kind of wrong from that because we redid it way back when. But it's still accurate. The ideology is still accurate. So we're going to show this. Um, essentially, I'm going to talk a little bit about my new goals too because of the update that they just released. So they gave us, you know, this stuff, which is going to be like a honing nerf and stuff, which is kind of huge because it just plays into my plan that I already wanted. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I did change my plan a little bit um, because of everything that had happened. So I'm still kind of on the same plan. Um, I'm trying to get one, two, three, Four. So I have four 1490s as a secondary roster. I'm working on Admiral Boom and Mark Infinite. They're going to be the ones that make it there next. But they just gave us another little pad where it doesn't cost gold to get these characters to 60. I might do it. I might do it just for the Kundalinium or whatever it is. But like the, um, there's no new dungeon. So I wouldn't recommend doing this for the Chaos Dungeon. So I might not do. I really have to figure out what I want to do. But that's why we're actually talking about Funnel Method right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our little log. And we're going to assume, because I don't really remember what the math is, but I have the data somewhere. Um, but I think, let's just say you get 20. Actually, I actually think it's 30. I think you get 30 from unrested, so you get 15 from, like, or 15 from unrested, 30 from rested. We're going to do the rested. Because I don't want to, uh, that's three days a week that you play, right? Or two days a week. Because I just don't feel like doing, I don't feel like doing the math for the unrested, and especially because they're alts. But this is to talk about funnel method. So let's say, let's say, right, most of the time we're short leap stones or we're short honor shards. But since the honor shard nurse, you just shouldn't be short honor shards for any of these other characters, right? Especially anything below 1500s. So let's talk about it. I want to get Mark Infinite up. And I know that he's out of great honors. I know that because that's why he stopped at 65, was because I don't have any left. So now let's talk about why funnel method is so important. And this doesn't concern my mains for a second. We're going to get to how I can get those mains up as well. Okay, as you can see, it's what I had before. <clears throat> so we're just going to get rid of that. Um, we're also not in this range. I don't know how to change yeah, this range. Okay. So I think it's here. Right? Plus 12 is 1400. So no, we want to get the 1460 character up, right? So let's see. 1430. 1460. So plus 18 is what it is and everything. So I need two more upgrades, right? Um, now, he's already plus 65 or something like that, so we're just going to make it this for shits and giggles. The target goal is 1490. Yeah, he's currently sitting at 1460. He needs to get these two taps. So, average scenario, no additional materials. I'm not buying any of this because it's all being farmed. I'm not buying this because it's being farmed. So long story short, the, the base cost, though, is 68900 We're not even going to get into that because it doesn't, it's just irrelevant. Um, at this stage of the game, like, I can show... Um, I, I don't want to show it now because I don't want to load a new... But I can show you, like, I've sold so many pieces of jewelry in the last couple of weeks that are... So many pieces of jewelry. Uh, two pieces for 100 k a bunch of pieces for 30 to 60 k Like, now gold's easy right now. Selling my gems at that time was the perfect time because now I'm making a ton of money back to buy the gems back at a cheap, way cheaper price. Way cheaper price, like... Like, uh, yeah, it'd be like that. But anyways, I need 3,680 stones if I hit the average, right? And if I hit the pity, or the pity, it could be pretty fucking bad, actually. But I need 3,680. If I was doing that on one character by itself, it would be really excruciatingly difficult, right? But I'm not. 
I'm not. So the idea here is that I'm using the funnel method, but I'm going to explain it with my account because my account actually has better math, right? So let's just say that we're getting, we need 3,600, we get 10 a day. I'm underballing my math because I want to make it easier. It's actually more than 10, it's like 15. Um, or actually, it's supposed to be 30. Didn't we say we're going to do rest? We do 30, three days a week, which would be 90. Yeah, so we'll stick with that. We'll say you get 90 a week from each character, right? Just from doing their guardians, which is like a little bit of your, it's very, very small amounts of time. Couldn't bill any of it. It's really not that bad, especially because most people are overleveled for it. It's just not a bad rate. Also, you can just carry yourself through it. You know what I mean? Um, or get someone to carry you through it. Either way, it doesn't matter. They're worth doing, right? So uh, what do we have? If I get them to Kundalinium, it'd be one, two, three, four, you know, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten characters, and we'll just do 20. We'll do 20, because it's 20 a day, or 15 a day unrested, so we'll just do 20 when we in the middle. 10 times 20, that's 200 stones a day, times, uh, it was three days a week, right? So three days a week, that's 600 stones in a, month, uh, in a, in a week. And then we're going to go back to the website really quickly, just flash it. We need 3,600, that's a lot, dude. So that's like six weeks worth, right? So if I do that consistently on these characters, plus the scale dungeons, but I don't really want to. Um, and now it's just times it times four, right? Four weeks in a month, it's 2,400. So we're kind of already getting close to that, and I think you can kind of see what I'm talking about. If you were to just do it by yourself on this character, religiously, let's talk about how you would get those stones by yourself. So let's say each chaos dungeon gives him, I think it's like five, right? And it's not, we'll just say, we're gonna say 10. And we're gonna say plus 15. And then we're gonna say times seven, right? Because that's what they're getting, times four. 700, right? See the difference? Do you see how massive that difference actually is? And you could, you know, the argument's there to say, like, oh, but I play less if I do that. But you actually don't. You don't. First off, it's a quarter less. Like, it's actually way less. But second off, you don't. You don't. I've done the math a million times. We have videos. I'm going to link it. You have videos in the past where I show that I played 21 hours a week for 15 characters and got more resources than playing my six characters for 29 hours a week. Uh, this is for dailies, Guardians of Chaos, right? So no, it's just not even fucking close. It's not even close. And this, I really hope people get this. And we're talking about Funnel Method, and I understand that, and I'm rehashing old topics, but because I have a little bit different review base now, I think it's important to re-bring this up. That no, everybody who believes that you need to put all your attention in one character, you're fucking wrong. It's called playing for the long game. And now we're going to talk about how where my account is at. So that's that's my goal right now, is that I'm going to be getting these characters maybe to 60. Now, like I said, I don't want to do Kung Deleniums. Not because I don't think they're easy, but because I feel like the lobby sim is going to suck, right? Or maybe, I, I don't know, I don't want to deal with it, is really what I'm getting at. And I'll find a way to make these stones up on these characters in different regards. Like, it's not, I don't have an issue with that, right? I'll sell my reds from these big guys, and I'll just, so I don't mind. I, I, know, I know ratio, so I understand how to, like, look somewhere else for the gold that I need, or for the items that I need, but, yeah, there's no fucking way I'm going to do this many claims. But, the point is... Um, somebody said that these characters don't pay for themselves, right? So all of these characters got to 45 for silver, except for, like, maybe a couple of them. And now they're all about to get to 60 for 45 for silver. So I'm confused on what gold I put into them. Like, what, where are you getting these numbers from? Where are you people thinking, characters never return their value? Okay, if they're using bound materials, that was valueless in the first place. Let's just get that perfectly clear. If your character is using bound materials to level up, there is no value in those items. Therefore, you're not losing value. Therefore, you're not putting value in. So any value they return after the fact to other characters is gained value okay and again there's a lot of math on this if i get these characters to 60 i can prove i can prove that the cost will be less getting them to 60 right especially because it's silver now the cost will be less getting them to 60 than the goal than a month's worth of returns so if i farm them steadily for a month all right listen to this for a second if i get all these characters get a character to 60 and then i farm that character for a month during kung millennium or hell even just chaos dungeons at a higher level which i wouldn't because 45 to 75 right this the next under 75 that's why i'm saying I, I might not do this because it's the thresholds aren't right and that's kind of what i'm trying to get to Ugh. like i need it's so hard because there's so much fucking information here and it's so hard to get it all into a coordinated fucking concepts for everybody it's just not going to happen but the point is, is that's what i'm trying to get at here is that if you properly funnel, if you properly maintain a, a, a know where to stop and go, stop and go. That's why I have the red lines here. So let's go ahead and talk about this now. We're going to use the scope we usually do to try to point out where we are. Okay. If you look right here. Back in the day, I stopped all of my alts at 1302 and 1370. And there's a reason for that. Because all the 1302 and 1370 characters could produce great honors that would basically... Uh, I think it was 1370. I'm sorry. I stopped them all at 1370 because all of them could produce great honors to then funnel. And like 1302, this shouldn't even be green. I actually should redraw this real quick. Because this isn't true. It's a little messy now. But 
It, it's just not true. This isn't actually true. So I'm just going to draw lines this way. Because 1302 can't farm into that, right? And that's what I was trying to get at. So I stopped all of my characters at 1370 because they knew, one, it was optimal. They gave us it for silver or something where it was cheap. They finally made it available. And then what I did is I put them all there because all of these 1370 characters could farm. All of their materials could be used by everybody all the way up to 1490. All the way up to 1490. That's a good funnel. That means that everybody in this little range right here was falling into one or two characters if I chose to, right? Now we're rinsing, repeating that concept. And this is very relevant for where we are in the game right now. And that's why I'm trying to say this now for everyone to get it. Please understand funnel method. Essentially what's going to be happening here pretty soon is I'm going to see the exact same flip happening. And that's why you're seeing me push these six characters to 1490 right now, despite people being like, oh, wait, the gold and it's this and that. We're going to be stuck in Algasha and Akan for a very long time, okay? And if I'm wrong, they're going to give us some sort of future boost so it won't fucking matter anyways, right? But if I'm right, and we're going to be there for a little bit, we're going to be farming the content, then it doesn't actually matter if you're there week one. And I think long game again. Okay, so my friend that I was talking about in the last video, he beat me to Argos. He beat me to Volton. And we were kind of tied at Vicus. Everything from Clown forward, he lost. And this is a friend that like RWTs to the max and had like 800 hours more play time than me or something like that, right? And he was more efficient. He had way less characters. He only had five characters up until Clown release. Right? Or six characters. That's it. And then from Clown Forward, he was never able to keep up with me again. And now the gap the gap at Hard Brow was crazy. It was crazy. It, most of his alts weren't even getting to 1540. I was working on 1560s. Like, you know, it, crazy gap. Crazy gap. And it's because of this. Because I played for the long game. I knew that they'd eventually give things to us easier so those alts would get up faster. But they still needed bound materials. Okay, by doing a couple dailies here and there on them, when you have a little bit of free time, believe it or not, the rest bonus, it'll add up over time. And that's the whole fucking point. Okay, but we're moving into that phase of the game again, where you really want to have your characters. Let's use yellow. You want, and we'll put stars. Yeah, that works. Okay, so in this phase, you really wanted to have at least a minimum of here. Maybe not yellow. Blue. Blue. You wanted to at least have your characters here. Okay? So that way they could funnel above. And then to get to 1540, you wanted to have at least your characters here, if you wanted to funnel above. And it's the same concept here. If you don't have characters at least 1490, I should have put 1490 down here, but... Whatever. It, I don't really care. I don't. I'm not going to sit here and play with this for 10 hours. But again, 1490, you want to be able to uh, form them up. But the problem is, is this little gap. See how big this gap was over here? See how big this gap is? Right. See how much range that farming helped us, that that funnel? This one's much smaller. This one's much smaller. And that's why I'm only making it a goal of getting six characters there because they can't, they didn't fuck us. They did, they did the exact same funnel that I would have had back then. I had 12 characters. I was looking at footage. So I had 12 back then, too at the eye level and then the other characters were all kind of just being made i didn't have 20 right so I, it's about understanding this ratio it's understanding your accounts ratio right so like what i just pointed out with the guardian stones if i want to get guardian stones on that character my my accounts ratio can produce you know almost a thousand of them a week you know that means or it was more than that wasn't it but i can produce so many in a short period of time that i can funnel into the account actually i want to go back because i think okay i just want to look back at something and see if i fucked up the math but but yeah, so anyways, the point that I'm getting at is you have to get your characters to this stage if you want to go anywhere above 1600. So the reason why I'm not doing something similar, like something like that, and I'm not pushing these main six characters yet, and I'm, I'm starting to now, I just juiced one of them, but the reason I'm not pushing these characters yet is because I'm actually convinced that the best parking spot right now is kind of 1560 to 1580, and I might get a couple 1580s, but I'm actually not going to go ham anymore. Um, because I think I can get a lot more progression done in the secondary roster, which will then later help me play the game less by capitalizing on rest to boost these characters later. And I feel bad because a lot of people really just don't get this. That you can achieve what I'm talking about by having more characters and capitalizing on the rest bonus. Do not know what they're talking about. Period. And I don't care. You can confront me on it and we'll go through the math together and you can be wrong together. How's that sound? Um, this principle is very, very applicable. Okay, it's called Funnel Method. Um, it's showed in a different way when you actually look it up. This is not, this is how I'm applying it to the game, but the principle stands. You want to have these characters at some sort of threshold where they can benefit from it. I thought it would be 60 <clears throat> because in the patch thing, they talked about how they're basically going to be nerfing the upgrades, right? Is it here? Uh, it might be above here. 
yeah, so they're basically patching the upgrades and making it cost six, uh, with no gold going all the way up to 60. That's massive, a 40% reduction. So I'm really upset because I put a lot into this already. Again, they fucked me a week later. I should have just waited a week and I could have done this character. Like a lot of these characters could have got it for free, but I don't care. I got one, two, three, four already at the 1490 range. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm at, but that's the point. So these thresholds matter for a reason. The only reason you would push these characters would be for Kung Delinium. Kung Delinium would be for the stones to push these characters faster, but I just don't see it being convenient. I don't see it being a good thing to do in my account. So let's talk about that grand ratio again, right? I have a bunch of different options and things I can do. Those guardians are going to take me 10 hours of time or I could do something that will produce more gold and just buy the stones worth in 10 hours of time. So, like, what was it was at 2,400 stones at 20 a piece or something like that. It'd be, like, 40K gold. So I could essentially just do trade skills for two, three, three days and buy the stones instead of doing rest across fucking Kung Deliniums on, on 10 characters. So you see what I'm saying? So my account, by having this many characters, I can do whatever the fuck I want. If I choose to go a different route or option to level up a goddamn character, I can do that. You can't because you have six. So you have to play your dailies. You need to play your content, and that's my point. You all feel pressured and pushed because of the way you've designed your mindsets on the game. And it's crazy because the developers are confirming it for you, which is sad because then it means that they don't even get their own game. Why did you put rest bonus in a game if you don't understand how the fuck it works? Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna rant. This won't be a rant video. I promise. It's just gonna be funnel method. Um, so let's go. We'll cut the clip real quick, and then we're gonna. Okay, you want to get your characters to here. 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 If you're planning on using Funnel Method. If you're planning on keeping up to one character, that's fine. Just keep using the bow materials on one character. Like, And that's why I said earlier it wasn't possible, but it probably is possible to a degree. In all honesty, like if we looked at the math for it, he was going from 45 or whatever up, and he would have used less if I had waited for this stupid buff that they're giving us. So I'm going to wait for him. Uh, but yeah. Let's go ahead, we'll jump on him. I basically picked, picked the people who I thought would be easy and people who had some the most guard, uh, most bounce stones, straight up, because if they don't have a lot of bounce stones, it's gonna be harder and harder for me to do. So the reason why the first four characters made it so easily was because the Striker and the Shadow Hunter, I was already pushing, so they were at 75 a long time ago, 60 a long time ago. Um, the Reaper, I got the 75, like, release week um, with the Express Pass, so. So she's been sitting there for fucking ever. So they were really easy characters to get, you know, bang, bang. But again, it's because I've had them for a long time. I understood I've been playing for the long game. I understood funnel method. I understood my ratios. I knew where I needed to put energy into my account. So let's talk about that. Right now, right now, this is the truth because of their patch. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing with the, the machinist. But right now, I've already established I've done some math that I need to start focusing one of these characters. So that's why I actually juiced the paladin and he's ready to go. He's got like a thousand bounds. We're going to start seeing how far I can get him. But... He's also got like two, three hundred. Uh, let me see. Gaming, I'm going to show you stuff real quick just because. Yeah, so this was me. I have like 287 of the stones on him too. That was my cold last night. Uh, and my honor shards after I buffed him. So he's still got 300,000 left after juicing the entire fucking thing. Um, but it's, it's going to be a long fucking journey. Like, it, it's definitely going to be a long journey. There's no way around that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so... Anyways, uh, oh, no, didn't want to do that. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So over time, this person's just been getting bound materials, right? And that doesn't even necessarily mean that I've been playing the character, which I have because the Chaos Dungeons are worth it and the Silver's worth it and the Gems are worth it. And that doesn't mean I play them unrested. It means that I play them when I feel like fucking playing them and the rested bonus allows me to get a decent amount of resources each time I do. It's not complicated. But I'm sure people will complicate it. He's actually sitting on a ton of stones. Um... So that's good. But either way, so he's got 637 of these bounds. I don't know how far that'll actually get him. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to wait now until the gold gets dropped off because now I realize I actually spent a shit ton of gold on the scouter. Like, because he, he pitied so much. He had a horrible time. Um, I am running out of materials. I will say that because I've just been using them. But yeah, so they're sitting on these bound materials. He's sitting on 400,000 bound juice. What did it? What, <laughs> what did we need? 330. Like, do you see my point? I could probably get him even a level higher. Let's be real. Or, no, 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 we won't do it like that. We'll get him the Brawl set, right? Because that's 1490 or whatever. Where are we? 1490, that was, like, perfect. I, I didn't mean to do that, but that was, <laughs> was like, perfect. So let's just say we were going to get him, like, a level 11, right? 1500. So one tap. Or, no, because you get 1520 for free. So we got to do this a little different. Right? 1510, 1520. That's where it would be. Yeah, okay. Right? Oh no, because it would be one more. Right? 
I think that's what it is. I think it's this. You'd get to 1530. And it would be 30, 39,000 gold and 200,000 on shards. So he's not. He actually probably can't do that. Let's be real looking at this now in the grand scheme. But the the point is is that it is an option. Okay, that it's he's not like that far off. You know what I mean? By farming very little. Like a lot of these characters didn't get a shit ton of playtime. Um, they sign and they do low pangs daily. Do you know what I mean? They collect dailies. They do guild donation. Like this is really a large portion of their resources, honestly, is from in here. It, it's from this. It's just from coming in here and doing something like this every day. Getting the passive amounts of resources that I can collect with each character. Right? And then remember boss rush tickets. This dude's sitting on nine. The only reason they're not done is because I'm trading them in. Like I don't feel like doing over 200 tickets like my friends have been doing just because I want the gems. I don't give a shit. That's the big difference. Um, it's, it's the truth. Like when you have this many characters, like my friend's always saying like, how do you have so much gold? How are you so far ahead? He just doesn't get this still. And it sucks because these people question your validity. They question how far you've gotten and they question how well you've done, but they don't even understand the fucking game. Like, they just don't. They waste their time on shit like this, countless amounts of hours on something like this that they don't actually need on their account. And that's my point. Like, my friend used to do it all the time. I, I, and I, I miss my friend. I'm not going to say his name. But the kid I talked about, I talk about all the time, the kid that I beat basically towards the end because I planned for this, was he would spend time doing things like ghost ship and stuff. And I'm not saying that ghost ship's not valuable. I'm saying that it stopped being valuable on my account a long fucking time ago. Like... I do things like this now because I need the Omnium Star of the Blade Rune. I don't do it because I need the fucking resources from it. That's crazy, or the jewelry from it. I get better jewelry and resources from everything else I do in the game. And that's kind of my point. That's what I'm trying to really have to get at. Like, I haven't done this Grand Prix event once. I only would do it for fun because I have I get all the coins that I need from my content. So it's, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying really hard. Like, I would still do the event island. But again, I haven't even done the event island in forever. Why? Because it doesn't make sense for my account. It just doesn't. So he doesn't get it, and it sucks, because he just doesn't understand these concepts. But anyways, yeah, so the other thing is, a lot of these people's stones came from me sitting on, you know, doing their boss rush tickets, um, and getting ridiculous amounts of stones that way. And, like, it's not just one character, just to kind of prove the point. Like, all of these characters were sitting on stones, it's just, I know I can't, I can't level all of them. <laughs> I can't afford that. I've done the math. I can get six. So far, so it's, I can afford six characters. My goal is to get six characters, 1490. They will be getting to 1520 for free. They'll be funneling uh, my main few characters my goal is still three characters to be a con ready by a con so yeah fine i'm gonna pick no, i'm not gonna do all six i'm gonna still try for all six but the goal is three and we're hoping that we hit it um but yeah just a quick little proof of concept look 696 cents it's funny that they almost have the exact same amount and then they each have seven bosses she gets so does she have any no she doesn't because i wasn't planning on tapping her so that makes sense um but yeah, she had tickets and she's got 300k juice too. That's what I'm saying. So all of these characters just from playing passively have been able to make it. Yeah, they didn't make it within the, the time frame. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if these characters make it within the time frame because they're just fucking alts. So I want to get into my dailies. I want to start blowing through some something like this. Oh, God. And I talked about how it was better to... Don't hone... <laughs> don't hone... Don't hone, don't hone. And then I said it was better to hone, hone, right? Like the inflated markets. So we're gonna draw a couple lines. Okay, so this represents inflamed market, meaning stones and everything cost a lot. And this represents deflamed market. Two things. One, the reason why it's the perfect time to be a new player is because we're in the D-Flame market, first off. Second off, the reason how Funnel Method, why Funnel Method is so important, and why I never have a problem regardless of the economy, whereas my friend's progression slowed down hard when the economy slowed down hard, right? Or when the economy picked up. Yeah. So my friend, the kid that you just saw, actually, the kid gaming, um, him and my friend, my old friend Korea have the exact same problem. Because they both don't, they both... Whenever we reach an inflammatory market, they don't like it because they think things cost more for them to upgrade. But that's because they have the mindset of using pot materials to upgrade. And that's okay. We talked about this in the last video. You can do that. You can do that in this range. You can use tradable materials down here. Okay? You can't use tradable materials up here. You can. It's just not a good idea. Right? It's better to sell them up here. So that same concept applies. Why I don't have a problem in the inflame market or the deflame market is because I'm using funnel method. I'm not relying on the market. I'm relying entirely on myself and my account to produce whatever the fuck I need to move forward, even if that's gems, right? 
And that's the difference. That's I understand this. So right now, my funnel method, I actually, and see, it's funny now I'm having this conversation. I should just be focusing on my main six characters because we're in a deficit market. So my alts aren't really producing a whole lot of value for the account. I'm not because I have a plan and I want to attack that plan. And, and it's big and important not to change your plan unless you see something cataclysmic coming your way, right? Because you want to stick to it. If you start changing your plans all the time, you're going to have a game like Lost Ark. Haha, <laughs> see? But no, no, I'm sorry. The point is, is I don't have a problem in an inflame market or a defame market because in the inflame market, right, where everything's up, I make a shit ton of gold on all of this. And in the deflame market, I don't have a problem because I just funnel my characters. I choose one character at a time, right? That list that we were looking at earlier of all my characters. I pick a character. I send them all the materials from everything in that funnel range that we talked about, right? This is very important. So everything in the 1370 funnel range right here is going to be able to now funnel this one character. I have a lot of those. See the point? Um, so that's it. I'm not going to keep lecturing at home. I don't see the value in lecturing at home repetitively. You can see that this guy is clearly out of everything. Uh, he's only got a couple of boss. I did do his boss tickets, tickets, just because I needed the stones. Um, the reason why I gave you guys goals like this to get all your characters to 1445. Now I'm saying 60 actually because it's silver and for free. Because it's silver and for free. Which means that in the beginning of your stages of your game, your ratio, your account, you're going to be farming a lot of chaos dungeons anyways. So it just makes sense for you to be doing a lot of chaos dungeons using that silver to farm the characters up instead of skipping the gun straight to a character that's already ahead and trying to level up that character. It doesn't make any sense. Your best thing to do in these first month or two months of the game that you're playing is to take your time, do the chaos dungeons, build a nice stockpile of resources up and slowly start to, you know, level the characters.